hello hello friends this is a chain again and in this video we're going to see relative and absolute reference how you can just apply relative and absolute reference in microsoft excel here you see you have a list of names um those people said for exam this subject one score for of subject one subject two and here you see there is a total yeah let me start with the relative reference here if i just need to add or to to do some mention of those cells i can just uh, here start with the equal sign and i click on cell d3 and just plus cell e3 and i hit enter you see here i get 92 score and i can just drag down to copy the formula and here you see here if i click on on the formula here you can see I have D3 plus E3 and if I go down and I click on this cell you can see the formula D4 just plus E4 you see everything here changed once you just scroll down to copy the formula once you copy the formula also the cells change and here the formula here the, 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 the point here the score here just you have here is correct everything here changed and this is the relative a reference once i just click here let me select this range and i go to formulas and go to to show formula and you can see here this is d7 e7 d8 e8 everything here changed and this is correct let me hide it again and for now our reference that is absolute once you scroll down to copy the formula it will not change but before just going there let me just show you another way that to to apply a relative a relative a reference in a microsoft excel i can simply just let me create a content i can simply select this range maybe have a, instead of scrolling maybe have a, a very big a very, very just have a long list of candidates or have a very list of people or the list of items that I just want to tutorize. I can select, I can select where you have the data and just put the sign here and it's in the first cell. And I can just take this one plus this one. And to make it automatic, I just here hold the control press enter, control press enter and then control and then enter uh, the whole selected range the formula is copied in them you can see well it's well i have and this is very simple you can select the range and then you just hold control and enter then you get the formula copied now let me just move to the absolute reference in absolute reference here you have cells but there is a cell that you just want to hold you just don't need to uh to change let me here for example put an equal sign and have the total i just need to multiply this total by five where is five five here it is in this uh in this cell and what i have here let me just uh, uh type equal sign and take this cell f3 times this this number but this number it is in i2 let me hit enter and let me try to scroll down let me try to scroll down to copy the formula you can see here you have zero 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 and this is uh, you see the formula here did not apply did not apply and let me try to show the formula in this range let me go to formulas and i go to show formula you can see what i have here you have f3 times i2 here you have f4 times i3 which is not correct and this is f6 times i5 which is not correct too and this is what i don't this is not what i want I wanted F cell here to be multiplied by this cell I2. To just to just to rock the uh, the this cell I2, I need to use an absolute reference because I just want F3 
f4 f5 f6 to stay there I, I, just to, to be changed i just want to go from f3 up to f9 but i just want this i to to, to just to be locked i don't want it to change this is where we apply a cell uh, 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 just an uh, actual reference. Let me now here hide formula and try to to show you how to apply an absolute reference. If you just want to to, to hold one cell to, to stay there without being changed. Let me just double click here on my formula again. And I'm just going to lock this I2 so that if I copy the formula down this I2 will not change. I can just do it manually by just putting a Dora sign. We use a Dora sign to apply an absolute reference. Or I can just put my cursor here and go on keyboard and just click on F4. Once I go to keyboard and just click on F4 and just hold E4 and this will apply and now sort three files, draw a sign. All I can just do it manually. I can just do it by just, uh, this is uh, this is I2 and I can here put a draw a sign on my keyboard. I can just put a draw a sign and here put a draw a sign again. All can just go and type on F4, F4 on the keyboard. All can put a draw a sign this way. And here I hit enter. You see, I still have 460. And once I copy my formula down, you will see every number here is multiplied by this one. Let me now show the formula. Let me just go back and show the formula. And now let me just go here and show the formula. You can see what I have. I2, I2, F3 times I2, F4 times I2. This range, or oh, this, sorry, this cell did not change. I still have it. And once you just have to, uh, you just need to have a correct data. Please make sure of the kind of the reference you're using. If it is, uh, it is where you just need to hold the, yeah, to keep the cell unchanged. Please make sure that you locked the cell. And to lock the cell, you just here use a Dora sign. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're just going to keep subscribing to my YouTube channel and guys. Enjoy this video.